So again, push in again. Yeah, that's better. Brace. Out. Hey guys, Coach Kyle here with Coach Brandon. We're in the Kabuki Team Singlet today. Our goal is to show a good brace while maintaining the ability to breathe in and out under extension. We're going to show the ab wheel. I like to program ab wheel for a lot of clients because it can do really good things for bracing drills. One of the problems is people make their uh, ab wheels way too easy and they just go through the motion of doing reps. So to combat that, we started playing with a tempo ab wheel. And then we found that actually holding extension puts the spine under a bigger load and thus if we practice breathing and bracing during that time, it might be similar to say a heavy back squat. When we unrack the bar, come out, we have a good brace, we're maintaining breath until we run out of air, and then we give and we lose that. So we're gonna start with a couple good reps at about a, a two, uh, two, four, two tempo, or two seconds out, and we're gonna hold it for two breaths. So I'm gonna have Brandon give me a poke in the belly here so you guys can see the brace that I'm maintaining while I breathe. So a good brace, I finish that intra-abdominal pressure with air. One, two, out, hold, and back in. And you can even cue that a little harder, Brandon, and push in more so they can see that. So again, push in again. Yeah, that's better. Brace, out, one, two, and then I'm gonna breathe. Back up, one more good rep. Braced, breathe into the belly, out, two, and pull back in. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a bad rep, unfortunately, and I'm gonna have Brandon poke me here, and you should be able to see when I'm holding extension and I breathe, how I lose my brace and that pressure from Brandon comes in to my belly. So we'll go ahead and brace, a little more pressure, good, braced. I fill into the belly still, it's a nice good brace, and then when I hold extension, I lose that. And I come back up. Very similar, again, to maybe a set of, a challenging set of reps in my squat. I unrack, I'm braced good, I do a good job breathing into my belly, I walk out, I get a couple good squats, and then I get tired and I lose it. And I have to catch my breath. So this can be a great way to learn to, uh, to maintain that brace while breathing properly without having a bunch of weight loaded on your back. I would demonstrate one more, but my back actually doesn't like that because that kind of hurt. So take it from me, don't do that. Anything to add there, Brandon? Uh, just keep in mind this drill is all about intent. Um, we're trying to have the maximal carryover to our squat. So keeping that same exact amount of tension is gonna be key here. Yeah, just to add on that, same thing you've probably seen, we do a lot of challenging drills with the dead bug. People say they do the dead bug really easy. Our goal is never to win the dead bug. I personally want to make the dead bug as challenging as possible so I get more out of it for my squat. I don't compete in dead bugs, I compete in squats. Same thing here, please make it challenging. You saw I was probably a little bit shaking extension because I was not trying to win the drill, I'm trying to win at squats.